good example of drought and its impact on K response comes to us from a long-term study that Ohio State University did. It was a study where they had established a range of soil test potassium levels. A drought year came along, and during that drought year, the responses were just huge. The corn part of the crop rotation showed an 80 bushel response to the elevated K levels. Soybeans showed a 15 bushel per acre response. That was one year, but yet it's consistent with what we have seen in other studies. My experience is the healthier you can keep that plant, the better off you'll be, whether you're having a good year or a droughty year. Having optimum potassium levels is most critical when you have periods of stress. Potassium is involved, for instance, in the opening and closing of the pores in plant leaves, where as conditions become more stressful, those openings can, can close and reduce the water vapor loss from the plant. That's good for the plant. It doesn't matter if it's corn, beans, whatever, we produce bushels. And without having the potash there to do that job, it goes right to the bottom line. Research invariably will show that during those, those droughty conditions, boy, that's when potassium uh, becomes uh, very important to reducing the impact the drought has on crop yields.